A lot of people have been using their time at home to go through all the stuff sitting around their home. Well, when one woman found someone else's keepsake, she wanted to help get it back home. Here's KCTV 5's Andrew Zimmerman. I swore that it was the only ring I would wear. John Calhoun remembers coming to Overland Park for a wedding, but leaving something important behind. In August of 2007, my class ring and a few other items I thought were stolen out of a bag. As more time passed, John lost hope of finding his ring again. I thought that that thing was was pawned or hawked. All these years he thought somebody stole it. Enter Janelle Flax, who used to own several car rental locations across Kansas City. When we closed our business, I had the lost and found box and the ring came up and I just tucked it away. Several times throughout the years, Janelle tried to connect the ring back with its rightful owner with no success. It's still been sitting around and I thought, well, let's try it again. Maybe somebody will see it because so many more people are on Facebook. And that's exactly how it happened. As soon as I saw it, I immediately knew that that's my ring. But when John was finally reunited with his ring, he noticed something wasn't quite the same. The only finger that it fits on is my pinky. Today, John is happily married. Besides a wedding ring, uh, this is the only ring that I would ever put on. And while John never thought he'd get to put his class ring on again, he's grateful he can. Everybody maybe hears of this happening to somebody in the world, but nobody they know. This kind of thing still does happen. Andrew Zimmerman, KCTV 5 News.